What's up? Um, I just found out news that Molly was the one that wanted to stay married. Like she didn't want her marriage to dwindle or go away at all. She was working on keeping the marriage going. And that Jalen was not interested into saving the marriage. He was ready for the marriage to be dissolved. Um, sad to hear, but that's the new information that's on the table today. Now, she's been diving herself completely into working out and trying to not just get back out there, just get back to being Molly. So she's not looking to dating anyone right now. She's just more into herself and trying to get back into working out and staying fit for the show or what have you. Now, well, <laughs> it's a lot of different things that have transpired during the days of her working on ESPN. Before she got, I think she, she did the NFL thing and she complained over there with all she had to go through during that time. But she ended up in 2015 taking over for Carrie Champion and became the, the new host of First Take. And then she became like one of the co-hosts after being a moderator. So they started respecting her a lot as she put up with Skip and dealt with the whole nonsense that was going on over there. Molly had stepped it up and definitely uh, brought things to the table. So Molly and Jalen decided, you know, to go ahead and get married and it changed the aspect of the of the respect on the show. Now, her on the show, sometimes I find her rather annoying. But some people, you know, a lot of people love her on the show. You know, she has a lot of speaking engagements on there. So um, that goes a long way. <laughs> but this is what people get caught up in. They get caught up in the story more than the actual benefits of the marriage. People, you know, when they go home, they got other stuff that goes on in their bedroom. But she does not want spousal support from Jalen Rose. Once again, she's not going after his money. She makes her own money and she says, I don't need his money. She didn't marry Jalen Rose for money. And she wants that stigma pretty much eliminated from the process. Molly has been a girl who's know that she was going to get penalized for her looks and early on things like oh well she's flaunting around till she grab an athlete there have been plenty of athletes that's tried to date molly that she was not interested in dating uh, she's turned down a lot of guys who tried to hit her on including some guys who were married on the cleveland cavaliers but that's patreon news we'll wait you gotta wait for that one most guys think she's kind of an airhead. Um, but, you know, voluptuous woman, you know, and she's somebody who's very proud of her beauty and stands on it a lot. So, you know, to her, beauty is everything. You know, like, I have to look good and I must look good. And my look is the quality. So she works out considerably. Um, I believe, I believe she's Italian and she's, um, Armenian, if I'm not mistaken. She's Italian and Armenian. Um, I never thought she was that attractive at all. I've seen her up close. So when you've seen people up close, it's a lot different than when you've seen them on television. 
You know, you say you see the cracks in the armor, but nobody's perfect. Hell, I'm not perfect, but, you know, it's different. You know, it's not this. Like, I don't know who the hell that is. <laughs> Never seen that Molly before, but that's a touch-up shot. You know, this is professional photographs. You know, but this is what they do. But most of these uh, athletes are young. They're charged up with a lot of sexual adrenaline. And they see girls with curves and they just go right for them. That's what they do. Truth is, she's more of the tomboy than she is the dressing heels and getting dressed up. She just knows that's the job. That's the look. That's what I got to do. But she's more tomboyish, out girl, outdoor girl than you've known. But that's the facts. Now, a lot of you say, hey, I worked through my marriage, you know, with my wife. I had problems, you know, losses in my family and we worked through it. That's what a marriage is supposed to do. But for whatever reason, Jalen doesn't want to work through it. They've been separated now for about it, almost a year, like he said. But what I was showing you guys was cracks in the armor as the reasons why. You know, she's been taking up boxing for real. Molly is taking exercising to the core. She's serious about it. She just don't want to be posing for pictures. She's actually used this as part of her cardio. So people have been trying to attack her basically on social media. So she's learned how to ignore most of it because she normally tries to block it all out or stay off social media to things die down. Um, she's learned doing the whole, you know, the thing with LeVar. And we finna talk about another issue that went down. She took a dig and tried to put her feminist movement, because she's all a big feminist. She tried to put her movement in front of Stefan Marbury's situation when he was going at it with Stephen A. Smith and checking him for this Kyrie Irving situation. She wanted to insert herself into the story and make herself the whole big issue. This had nothing to do with you. Two men was talking. They didn't need you to come in and try to insert your feminism in your agenda. And this is why people have a problem with Molly. She inserts things and, and how she feels is supposed to trump how everyone else is feel. Now, everybody has lost people in their family. She's lost people in their family. We show them respect. So we know that they're going through a lot, but this is the reason why sports people outside of knowing all that really didn't like Molly. They didn't care what she looked like. They didn't like her mouth. <laughs> so now she's, oh, she keep a woman silent. We can look good and all that. I'm like, babe, you really don't look all that good to me. I've seen better. It's your mouth, period. I, I don't like your mouth. Now, I speak up for women talking and stuff, but you, nah. Because you open your mouth with an agenda that I'm not, that I'm not too cool with. So, I ain't going to make this a long video at all. I just wanted to point out some facts. So I want to say shouts out to everybody who subscribed to the page. Hit the like button up. It's your boy Carcino, and we up out of here early.